Turns out the script for the Batman 2 is not done yet. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're looking forward to the Batman 2 and you like the Penguin, hit that subscribe button. I talk about them all the time. And we're looking to hit 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And to all of our new subscribers, thank you so much for hanging out with us for all these videos. Let's go right into it. The Batman 2 script back in September on Batman Day, a day or two before Batman Day, it was revealed that Matt Reeves had finished, completed the script for the Batman 2. And then all kind of went silent and the Penguin came out and all... We were all distracted by how great that show was and we talked about that show and the theories in that show and what this show could mean for the Batman 2. But now James Gunn is on his press tour for Creature Commandos and in it he's been talking about Batman. Of course everyone's going to bring up Batman and of course Superman but mostly Batman. People are obsessed with Batman so he talks about Batman and he says yes they're working on the Brave and the Bold and Matt Reeves is still working on the script for the Batman 2. Yes Matt Reeves is working on the script for the Batman 2. James Gunn on threads clarified that it was a misunderstanding when it was first reported that the script was gone. He said that it was no ill intention was in that tweet. It was, it was all in good faith that they announced that it was done, that whoever the journalist was that announced it announced it, but he said it was a bit of a miscommunication and the script is not done and Matt Reeves is still working on it. And that, I'm actually kind of like, okay, that's fine because the movie doesn't come out until 2026. It doesn't come out until October 2026. That is two years away. That is 23 months away that is a long time and if the script was done now I'd be wondering why aren't you why 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 is it going to take so long why would it take so long but it says okay he has to get the script he wants to get the script exactly where he feels it needs to be to be a successful movie but then I started thinking about the success of the penguin and the penguin was such a great show we talked about it every week here I talked to you guys about it we all loved the penguin we all had our theories and what we heard and, and this and that and I did a video I did a couple videos early on and one time was from my hat time to shine hello on twitter saying that sofia falcone gigante was going to have a big role in the batman 2 and at the time i said take it with a grain of salt because you didn't know if she was going to live or die at that point but obviously spoilers if you haven't seen the penguin hit pause go watch it come back in eight hours she obviously survives and is in arkham so she could have a play in the batman 2 potentially the penguin's going to lead us in there she could be there at some point if selena kyle shows up why wouldn't selena kyle have a scene with sofia if, you know, the ending of the series kind of hints at, you know, her leaving a note being like, hey, we're, we're blood, we're half-sisters, you know, how are we going to deal with this? Or, you, you know, you're not alone, your whole family's not gone, you have support, or whatever the case may be there. So we know that that is happening. Now, of course, Sofia Gigante was a character that exploded. Everybody loves Sofia. Christine Milioti slaughtered that role, just completely crushed it. And her character arc from beginning to end, just the way, like, if you think about where her character is at, you know not the very end but towards the end where she started from and how she gets there and just like this greatly written antagonist for the penguin for this show you'd almost think that maybe in writing the batman 2 matt reeves takes a step back and says okay this is someone to play with to utilize the fans really 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 connected with sophia and would it be dumb not to utilize this character in the Batman 2. Now, of course, Penguin's only going to have five to six scenes, so maybe Sophia only has two to three scenes. And the report from My Time to Shine Hello a month or so ago stated that she had a very big role. I don't know if I would necessarily believe that because, again, you can't alienate the people who didn't watch the Penguin series, especially if this movie is still going to be PG-13. There's a lot of people who won't watch an R-rated film but can watch a PG-13 rated film. However, James Gunn also said that in the DCU anyway, they're going to have ratings for whatever works best for the movies that they're doing. I'll do a video on that later, but if it needs to be rated R, it'll be rated R. If it needs to be rated G, it will be rated G. But does that count with the Batman? I know the Batman is not in the DCU, but James Gunn is still the head of DC Studios, and the Batman 2 is a part of DC Studios. So could that play a factor into the Batman 2? Could they even be working the script to give it a hard R rating or get to get a little bit, or to toe the line a little bit more, and maybe even deal with an R rating to get the best script no matter what the rating of this film is knowing that a Batman movie from DCU will be coming that probably most likely won't be R rated you have to think that with the DCU you know they're having obviously Clayface Alan Tudyk is going to be voicing Clayface so if they have characters like that you know some movies might be hard R thinking like Lobo but Batman I think you got to make accessible for everybody and if you make DCU Batman accessible in that way for you know it'll still be I think a PG-13 don't get me wrong but if you make DCU Batman a little bit more accessible maybe you go harder with the Batman 2 and you look at the success of Logan of the first Joker of 
Blade, of Deadpool and Wolverine, and things like that, and you say, okay, if we can push the boundary, like Deadpool and Wolverine, I think, is a prime example of, and even Joker 1, where these movies will, can make a billion dollars if they're done right. If you do it right, they can be pushed. So he could be looking at a way to incorporate Sofia Gigante into it, and also maybe push that rating a little bit further along if he gets the okay for it. Because why handcuff yourself with a PG-13 if you need to be rated R? I, I added a whole video on this, and I don't think it needs to be rated R. Don't get me wrong. But if that's holding you back, and now James Gunn is giving you the okay, maybe you take a step back and you say, I need to rework this script. Right? That's what I'm saying. I'm saying there's a possibility that the events of the Penguin, because I think it was Vince Gilligan of... Breaking Bad said, you know, you plan out your show, but then an actor comes in and then just like completely steals the spotlight. And all of a sudden your show kind of swerves a little bit because you want to incorporate that character because the performance is so strong. And you kind of get that vibe from Sofia Gigante. And if they didn't finish the script for the Batman 2 yet, why not just sprinkle her in there for the fans? Be like, look who's here because you know she's going to bring it. And then of course that also leads into, do we get a second season of Penguin? Which I also am like, don't know if we necessarily need, but if it means more Sofia Gigante doing things figuring out this character, maybe her character with Julian Rush and whatnot, you could do that. But this is about the ba Batman 2, obviously, and that's where I'm very I'm very intrigued by what's taking so long to write this script. I'm, I'm wondering if he, they had the story, and then they looked at the Penguin show, and they're like, this really worked, this really resonated with people in the Penguin. Maybe we incorporate that into into the Batman 2. And again, I'm not saying the whole movie is Sofia Gigante movie or whoever they would bring in, but you know, two to three scenes, you have little moments with these characters to be like, oh yeah, I know that character. I remember that character. And then that character can evolve and grow in the Reevesverse, which is something that this, obviously through the Penguin, was something that they're very, very good at doing and, and using it very effectively. So while it sucks that it's taking 900 years to get the Batman 2 script complete, I'm not so torn up about it because I have a lot of faith in the production crew behind it, with Matt Reeves dealing with it and, and, and just the storyline and understand that it is three movies and Colin Farrell signed on for three movies. So the fact that they have an idea for three movies fleshed out, and I still think Court of Owls is what's coming here. But the idea that they have three movies fleshed out and they're like, okay, we're gonna take our time and we're gonna massage it. And it would be great if they wrote two and three back to back. It doesn't sound like they're gonna do that, but I'm like, I like, I, like I said, I'm okay. Like get that idea, massage the idea, let it go. And then give us the best movie you can get. And if that means pushing the envelope a little bit with the rated R, if that means bringing in Sofia Gigante, if that means bringing in Eve Carlo, it, Penguins, Ma whatever it is from the show, if Julian Rush is actually Scarecrow or whatever, Hugo Strange, whatever you're going to take to incorporate from the show into the movie, you do that and you find a way to make it work where people aren't who haven't seen it aren't alienated and people who have seen it feel justified in watching what they watched even though it was fantastic and you don't need to feel any justification watching it because it was a phenomenal eight episode series <laughs> that I'm like I'm like last Sunday I was like where are you penguin I need you I want to watch more penguin let's see what's going on because I'm so invested in the character and I really want to see when Batman's going to take that SOB down. Take him down, Batman! But I still kind of ruined for Penguin. But take him down, Batman. I can't wait for it. I'm looking forward to it. Let me know what you guys think. What do you, what do you make from the delays of the script writing? If, there, if these are even delays. We don't know. There might be, you know, the plan to submit the script might have been for January 2024 or 2025. Or fe who knows when it's going to be. The movie comes out in October of 2026. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Also, if you haven't checked out Holy Christmas Batman from my friend Brian Royer, link in the description below. It is a jolly good time. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. Until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.